Your mother's gone up to dress for dinner, Miss Railton Bell. She told me I would find you in the writing room lying down, and that I was to tell you that you could have your meal upstairs tonight if you'd rather. That's all right. How are you feeling now? I'm all right. Is there anything I can do to help you? No, nothing. And please don't say things like that. You'll only make me feel bad. I feel better now. He's going, and that's good. I despise him. Do you? I wonder if he should. He's a vile, wicked man. He's done a horrible, beastly thing. It's not the first time, either. He admits that. I didn't think it was. And yet you told him he could stay on in the hotel if he wanted to? That's wicked, too. Well, then I suppose I am wicked, too. <sighs> Sybil, dear. Why is everyone calling me Sybil this evening? Please stop. You'll only make me cry. I don't mean to do that. I just mean to help you. That's better. It's much better. I'm very sorry for you. He says, he says we're like he and I. Does he? He says we're both afraid of life and people and sex. There, I've said the word. He says I hate saying it even, and he's right. I do. What's the matter with me? There must be something the matter with me. Nothing very much, I should say. Shall we sit down? <laughs> I'm a freak, aren't I? I never know what that word means. If you mean you're different from other people, then I suppose you are a freak. But all human beings are a bit different from each other, aren't they? What a dull world it would be if they weren't. I'd like to be ordinary. I wouldn't know about that, dear. You see, I've never met an ordinary person. To me, all people are extraordinary. I meet all sorts here, you know, in my job. And the one thing I've learned in five years is that the word normal applied to any human being is utterly meaningless. And in a sort of way, it's insult to our maker, don't you think? To suppose that he could possibly work to any set pattern. I don't think Mummy would agree with you. I'm fairly sure she wouldn't. <laughs> Tell me, when did your mother die? Or father die, sorry. When I was seven. Did you go to school? No. Mummy said I was too delicate. <coughs> I had a governess some of the time, but most of the time Mummy taught me herself. Yes, I see. And you've never really been away from her before, have you? Only when I had a job for a bit. I was a sales girl in a big shop in London. Jones and Jones. I sold lampshades. But I got ill and had to leave. Bad luck. Well, you must just try again someday, mustn't you? Mummy says no. Mummy says no. Well, then you must just try and get Mummy to say yes, don't you think? I, I don't know how. I'll tell you how. By running off and getting a job on your own. <laughs> She'll say yes quick enough then. I've got my menus to you. W will he be all right, do you think? The Major? I don't know. I hope so. In spite of what he's done, I, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I want him to be happy. Do you think you'll find a friend there? He, he told me just now that he'd always be grateful for me, for making him li less frightened of people. He's helped you too, hasn't he? Yes. I hope he'll find a friend in your hotel. So do I. Oh God, so do I. Thank you.